you can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me. I'm getting ready to change out the drive belt on this mower. I'm going to turn it on real fast and let you see what it's doing, how sluggish it is. Uh, don't let people try to tell you that it's the hydrostat that goes out of it and then you're pretty much getting rid of the mower because hydrostats are pretty expensive. So hopefully they're not, you know, offering you, lowballing you offers on it when you can just change a drive belt. My mower is a little loud because it has uh, muffler issues all the time. sluggish another thing you can do is just go ahead and check the belt uh, on mine you can already see that it's kind of tight get up in here so it's this top belt right here you can see that it's already way loose and also uh, when I was using it a few days ago I was going up a little hill that it wouldn't go up at all and I could smell the belt actually burning all right, you can see the belt is right here. It goes to that hydrostat, and then it also goes to this hydrostat. Goes up all the way to this pulley, and then this is the tensioner belt right here. And as you can see, mine's pretty loose. All right, I had to jack it up a little bit more to get my impact in there. If you're using a ratchet, it was way too tight for me, and I, uh, it, the engine uh, crank spins so I was first trying it with those uh, grabbing onto it to turn it but I wasn't getting it so I ended up getting this and then that's gonna slide off and come out and then that's where I can put that belt back up in there because right now you have this stopping it from sliding that belt off so you can just cut the belt and then slide this down put the belt back over it and then slide it back up and tighten it up and then put it all back together yeah it's this uh, bottom bolt that you're gonna need to take off and it comes right off with uh, impact get you guys back down in here so this is the bolt that I just pulled out of there slid off and then there is a washer that goes up on this first. So make sure that goes back in there when you put it back together. So right here's the pulley. You're going to be putting it around. Yeah, look how loose mine is. But just swap out that belt now and put it all back together. And there is also a plug over here. You're just going to push this over with your hand and then it will pop right out yeah this right here is what made mine my belt so loose all right the drive belt that I had showed earlier in this video did not fit this I went to Traxxer Supply where I bought this probably in 2011 2012 and they actually did not carry it and they wanted me to go get the model number and all that stuff from it so they could see if they could order it. Um, disappointed that they're not carrying the drive belt that's needed for this. And I, I went online, I went on Amazon and was looking for it and it, nothing was popping up for it that would fit this. And then I finally decided to search for the size of it and this is the size that I needed. And this was actually the only brand and the only choice that I could choose from. So I went with it. 
So I was kind of disappointed with uh, the options and actually where you can get the replacement parts for this cup could get just for the belt. Uh, I think belts should be something that you should always carry for products that you sell, but I guess that's something that's not being done at Tractor Supply R for Cup Cadet. I also went to Cup Cadet website and they were also, I couldn't, I even got the, the product number, the order number, and nothing was popping up for me on their website either. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but if you guys have the RZT zero turn mower and have, are having problems with getting a belt for it, uh, again, this is the size that you're going to be looking up, and that's going to fit your 50 inch RZT Cup Cadet. Also, I didn't iterate enough that I could not get that bolt off this bolt out by just turning it with hand. I had some lock vice pliers on there and I just could not get it to turn without using the impact. So just stating that just in case you guys are having that problem as well that you may have to get an impact to get that thing off. Got the new belt back up in there it's right here and putting it on this is the tensioner it just slides over so I just push it and it actually loosened up enough to easily get it on there when putting this back on make sure you get that washer back in there and then there's a uh, grooves or that little slot that keeps it from rotating uh, I just put this up in there a little bit screwed this uh, bolt hand tight a little ways just to get it to hold up in there and then I was able to turn this where I needed it to get it to line up with those grooves on this other side Get your ass whooped!